Hi there folks, and welcome back to another Shifty Mover video, and welcome back to uh, getting started in Emergency Call 112. Uh, this video we're going to cover the vehicle basics. So as you can see, I've got all the vehicles out here in the back of the fire yard, and this is one of the benefits of playing in the sandbox version of the game. Now for those that didn't see the previous video, the previous video I show you how to set up uh, the game so you can launch it in sandbox mode. And what that benefit is, is the fact that you can uh, have a little play around with all the vehicles and get used to um, all where everything is and practice uh, setting stuff up and all that uh, cool stuff and exploring the map without there being any uh, fire call outs no emergency will come up and you'll get uh, no missions pop up unless you want them to so if you want a mission to pop up you need to go visit the chair and press E on the chair to spawn in a mission uh, but for today's purposes we're in the sandbox so we can have a look at the vehicles so as you can see here, I've lined up all the vehicles um, that are at the station. There are, when we press the tab key, two other vehicles. This old crane uh, style truck and the police car. Now, if you don't own the first game, you won't have access to these two vehicles. So I'm not going to cover it in this video. These two vehicles have no use for the current game and are not used in any of the missions. Right, so in video one, I'm going to cover the first five vehicles that we see here, just the basics, and and I'm going to make a separate video for each of these three trucks because they're a little bit more complicated and require you to know a little bit more when it comes to actual missions. Right, so vehicle basics. As we covered already, if you don't know what the controls are, press the escape key, go to settings, check controls and near here we have a vehicle tab click on the vehicle control and as you can see W A S A N D is the usual driving controls and uh, we have some more controls under here for lights and indicating and transmission if you so wish the vehicle is set to automatic by default so driving a vehicle basics they all work the same jump in the car by walking up to the door selecting E Take the seat by pressing E. This puts you into first person mode. Look at the door. You can close it. Look at the uh, door exit and you can exit. So we're going to close the door. To start the engine we press M. And then to go into external view we press the middle mouse button. Some people may prefer to drive from this view. So forwards W, reverse, S uh, or brake A, A and D left and right. as you can see. Uh, turn the lights on is number three and turn the siren on number two. And this works the same for every vehicle. To get out turn the motor off you don't have to you can leave the engines running you will have to leave the engines running if you want to do pumping operations look at the door select open and then look at the exit for exit or leave. So this is the basic car, um, it, put, it plays no uh, use for any of the missions, um, but you can just take it for a drive around and explore. The next vehicle is the uh, doctor's, emergency doctor's vehicle. So if I press the tab, you'll see here at the bottom, if you select the emergency doctor, you can drive this vehicle out. You can drive it with any of the characters, but when it comes to a mission, the emergency doctor will take this to the appropriate missions. Uh, there are no other functions on this um, vehicle for use in the missions. You can't open or do anything else with this vehicle apart from drive and turn on the sirens and stuff. The next vehicle is the ambulance, which comes with two characters you can play as. The paramedic assistant and the paramedic. This vehicle will come out to most of the major fires. Basically, uh, it's an ambulance, uh, so if there's any casualties, uh, they will be dealt with with this vehicle. So you can interact with this vehicle and take out the stretcher. Open the doors using the E function. Press E on the stretcher. The stretcher will be deployed. Nice little animation. Step back and interact with it again. And that will deploy the stretcher out and you can take it to where the casualty is. However, um, most times at the mission you'll be dealing with the fire and the ambulance crew will automatically come and collect any patients as required. Up to you. The next vehicle is the um, Einsatz 
Leitung vehicle, basically the commander's vehicle. It acts as a command, mobile command center for the major fires. Um, small fires, it may not turn up. You may just take um, the um, the general truck or the small fire truck. Uh, but for the bigger fires, you'll have this vehicle uh, with you. So this is a, a general command unit. Um, so you can open up the side door here. Here we have two seats so we can operate the uh, command panels. They play no function to the missions, but it's just there. It's very nice. Um, it does have some basic firefighting capability and some tools in the back. So we can open up the both doors at the back. So we can open up this slider here, which will give us access to two fire extinguishers. We have a set of cones where we can close off a road. You may you may use this vehicle to do that. So look down on the road, and the cones will deploy, and you can block off a road. Uh, the main function there are some uh, there is a basic firefighting, two firefighting extinguishers here. Should you choose to tackle the fire with the fire extinguishers, it's up to you. But I don't recommend it. Use the fire truck. Um, the main function that you will use from this vehicle is probably the thermal camera, which is located up here in the top left. Point towards the uh, target that you wish to use the thermal camera and press the left mouse button, uh, left and, uh, mouse button and hold, and you'll see a thermal image pop up in the bottom left. And this will show you hot spots in the fire where you may need to do some further actions. Let's place it back in the vehicle by looking at the spot where it came from, pressing Q. So that is the uh, commander's vehicle, and it will go to the major fires. The next vehicle is a, is a utility truck. Um, it's called, what is it called? It's called the Technische Hilfsleistung. Um, I do apologize about my German. My German is not as good as it used to be. But this is a basic truck which will go out to some missions on its own. Um, it will deal with things like a, uh, a flooded basement or a fallen tree or something where you might need some power tools or something like that. So again, we have a side door with some tools and equipment in. I shall lay them out and go through the basics. We have the rear doors where there's some more tools and stuff, equipment stored. So I'm just going to open everything up. And we have a side door with more stuff. So like I said, some of the missions you may be involved with this truck, clearing clearing a fallen tree, uh, oil spills, fuel spills, something like that, or a flooded basement or stuff like that. Um, so we'll just go through. We have basic firefighting capability with a fire extinguisher again, but this truck is mainly for tools. So we have a fallen tree, for example. Um, there is a chainsaw in here in this back panel. We can get this out, chop up the tree. So once you've finished chopping up the tree, um, you'll need to clear up your mess. So to clear up the mess, you'll need the uh, the uh, receptacle here. So we can pick that up with Q. Bring this over to the area where we're going to need it. Press Q to deploy it. And then press E on the top to open it up so we can action in it. And you'll need something to pick up stuff with, so we have a, a broom and shovel here, which we can use, and you'll be able to scoop stuff up. You'll also need this receptacle and broom and stuff for other missions, not only the um, the fallen tree and stuff like that. There's there's also other missions you require some of this stuff. Um, if we have a spillage, uh, uh, oils, fuels, or something, there is a binding agent here you'll need to use. Like I say, that when we go through the missions, you'll see this in use. Uh, but uh, yeah, run up to the uh, the area where you need to use it and action over it. But I'm just going to place it down here for now. Um, in conjunction with this, you'll need a broom. So you place the binding agent down, then you'll use the broom to sweep the over the area to make sure all the uh, the spilled materials soaked up. And then you'll need to clear up the uh, the mess afterwards using the the broom and shovel and the receptacle. Another mission you'll get is a pumping operation. So I'll just quickly show you how to set up the pump. So in here we have the dirty water pump. So we grab this, place this where the mission tells you to and uh, just place it down using Q. So we'll need uh, a few th items to use with the pump. We'll need a hose and we'll need some power. So the power is in the front here. So we're going to grab this, place this down near where we're going to need it. Then we're going to look at it, we're going to unfurl it, grab the cable or the plug, and plug this into the generator on board the vehicle. Make sure the engine is running when you're actually doing it in the mission. Okay, so now it's plugged in. We need to plug in the pump to the cable reel. So grab the plug, stick this into the cable reel, and the pump is ready to go. The problem is we need a pipe, a hose pipe, to uh, take the water away. So this, the pump uses a C-type hose. We have B-type and C-type hoses, but this will, this will require a C-type. So grab one of the C-type yellow hoses, 
lay it down near where you need it. Press E to unfurl the hose. Grab one of the ends. Attach this to the pump. And take the other end to where the mission tells you to dump the water, usually in a nearby drain. So you just run to a nearby drain, look at it, and press Q to deploy or connect. So that's the pump operation set up. That's basics of this vehicle. There are a few more tools in here which you may require. Uh, just have a little look around the vehicle as the mission dictates. But uh, there's some cones. There's a ceiling support here which is not currently quite required in any missions. However, that may change in the future. So there we go. That is a look at the basics of vehicles and the five basic vehicles that we're going to be using. Um, like I say, I will do a separate video covering the use of these three engines here. They'll each have their own video because they're a little bit more complicated. Well, thanks for joining. Hope you found that useful. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye for now.